Hey, y'all, this is another episode of the Late Night Vision Show. We've got a special one for you. It's another interview, part of our SHOT Show series. We've got a special guest. We're going to jump right into it. Jason Robertson, owner of Outdoor Legacy. Who we got, bud? Man, we have got a guest who's been on the show before, Mr. Trent Hinkle from AGM Global Vision. Trent is the director of sales there. He is uh, He's a repeat guest here on the Late Night Vision Show. So we are glad to have you. Welcome to the show, Trent. No, I appreciate you guys having me. Glad to hear the that I'm still welcome back. <laughs> well, I mean, for now. We'll see yeah. after this. Yeah, one. Don't push it's, your luck, Trent. Don't push your luck. Yeah, exactly. You're getting a little cocky we, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have to finish each show. Then we decide if you get to come back. But right. no, folks, for, for y'all that uh, don't know, just tuning into this show, uh, we're releasing a lot of shows this week. Uh, this is the week of the SHOT Show. That is the Shooting Hunting Outdoor Trade Show in Las Vegas. Uh, when you're watching this, good Lord willing, Trent and Hans and myself will all be uh, meeting out in Vegas. Uh, so we're recording this a few days before SHOT Show so that we can just kind of give y'all a sneak peek of what AGM is going to be uh, bringing to SHOT, what they're going to be talking about there, uh, some new stuff they're going to be announcing. And again, by the time you see this, uh, SHOT will be live, we'll be there. And when it's over, we'll be coming back. Uh, having put hands on a lot of the things we're talking about in this show. And, you know, we'll be bringing you more information, all the details and exact pricing and everything on it once we get back from Vegas. So we're excited about that. But we wanted to have Trent on so we could get y'all all the information just as quickly as we could. Absolutely. No, again, thank you for coming on. Happy to do it. Um, and happy to be able to kind of talk about some of the product, um, yeah. not only that has been successful for AGM, but plan on, you know, having some new product available here in the near future as well. So Trent was nice enough to volunteer because we were talking about all the calls from all you listeners that are calling about scopes. Uh, and he offered to take some. He said, any AGM calls you send me the album. <laughs> Trent, I promise you, you don't want that because a lot of the calls that we're getting, man, are about your products. Uh, the Rattlers, the Taipans, just a single, a couple of them out are huge successes. But before yeah. we get into specific models, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be talking about successes from 2021, all the, the stuff that we have out that have been great sellers. We're going to be talking about new stuff, uh, break a little bit of news here on the show, before Shot Show. But before we get to that, Tell us a little bit about AGM, a little bit about yourself in the industry. And, and for all those that don't know, which not too many people don't know AGM by now, but who are you? What are you doing here? And uh, we want to hear later in the show where, where we go from here. Absolutely. Um, so for those that aren't familiar, AGM um, founded about three, three and a half years ago. So, um, you know, gearing up for SHOT Show, what was that, 20. 20 that was kind of our first unveiling um first booth that that we had um obviously focusing predominantly on night vision um image intensifier tubes green and white phosphor um, both for dod and commercial use um for 2020 we did start um essentially kind of launching our line of thermal optics um you know somewhat new to the to the market as far as you know the brand itself but not to the industry um all of my founders, as well as myself and other key leadership within the, the company, you know, has spent the last 20 years um, plus working for majority of the, the brands in the market today, um, whether that was as an equity shareholder, um, senior leadership or founders um, of a company. Um, you know, my owners founded a company called Armorsight, sold it to FLIR, ran their commercial division. Um, obviously, as FLIR stepped away from that commercial space, um, AGM kind of inherited some additional um, employees that have also been in this space for quite a while. Um, so my main point in that is, you know, it's not our first rodeo. We're not running this out of our basement or garage. Um, you know, we've, we've done it before and, and, you know, a lot of a lot of us have been involved. Um, myself for a, from a different brand and in different part of the market, but, you know, help build that company and organization to essentially kind of be the market leader in thermal, um, join the team here. I've been with the team about three years now, um, started as a, you know, sales rep, kind of worked my way up, um, get to work with good guys like yourself and, and other dealers out there in the market. And I've taken a step back a little bit going into 2022, um, kind of 
being the puppeteer, if you will, working a little bit more with my reps and, and trying to kind of provide a strategic overlay um, for the sales channels and for AGM moving forward. That is wow, awesome. that is awesome. <laughs> I, I tell you, uh, y'all, y'all came on the scene uh, with a splash. It's one thing uh, I always say, you know, you think about a lot of new companies and new brands and in, in any industry to come on. Sometimes it takes years and years and years before, uh, you know, the general public know that name or maybe even ever seen it. I mean, it takes, a, you know, millions in advertising to get in front of people. AGM hit the ground running and there is no one who is, you know, into night vision and thermal and, uh, even has a slight interest in this industry and night hunting who hasn't heard of AGM. And I tell you, I think one of the reasons why is because of you've got two products specifically right now, and hopefully there's going to be more, but that just are uh, just uh, rocks that are solid in the industry. And that is the AGM uh, Rattler thermal rifle scope. Uh, which started out with two scopes has now been expanded into more with, you know, high resolution 640s. You've got the AGM Taipan line a very affordable uh, monoculars uh, that are extremely popular. Uh, again, I, I know you've got a lot of other stuff and I, I'm not, you know, trying to, to minimize that, but the rattlers and the Taipans I think are so popular uh, over the last couple of years that man, everybody just knows AGM because of those products. Absolutely. And, you know, those are our core um, kind of foundation for our thermal lineup. Um, definitely one thing we want to do is, is offer that best bang for your buck. Um, we want to be able to offer um, thermal optics and, and pricing to, you know, a larger majority of the market. Um, you know, it's it, some of the new product we'll get to later, but we it's easier to come in and then build your way up. Um, and, and that's one thing that we're trying to do is, um, you know, not necessarily break the bank with some of the options that we can offer. Um, you mentioned our handheld line. Taipans did come out to market um, slightly before the Rattlers. And, you know, obviously one area of focus there for us is. You know, there's a lot of use, um, whether it's your bow hunters walking to the stand, whether it's your your spot and stocks, um, you know, there, there's a lot of added usage to thermal monoculars that we really wanted to try to capture. Um, you know, obviously thermal scopes is what majority of our, you know, your listeners of our audience is, is, is trying to accomplish with, you know, hogs, predator hunting, but even for the predator hunters, you know, a handheld thermal sure makes it a whole lot safer and easier to scan, you know, um, with a, you know, pound optic as opposed to swinging your rifle around constantly trying to kind of scan a horizon. So not to dip into the Taipans, but that that was really kind of our introduction into the market. Um, Rattlers followed suit very closely thereafter. Um, again, trying to hit a sub two thousand, sub twenty five hundred dollar price point, um, but not sacrifice any kind of quality that you can see from some of the lower end optics in the current industry. Yeah, I mean, I just want to touch on that real, real briefly here, and and say what you've done is you've got the Rattlers specifically, the two models that are your three eighty four units that are you know nineteen ninety five, twenty four ninety five. Those are not stripped down models. I mean, we're talking about very good image quality, focusable objective lens, uh, uh, video recording, smartphone app for streaming, and they come with a $200 American defense mount already on the bottom of it. I mean, you talk about value for the dollar and they're legit scopes. They've got, you know, y'all's three-year warranty, very good customer service. Uh, and, you know, that's something that I think is worth bringing up right now. I mean, I'm kind of taking another rabbit trail, but Customer service is a big deal. When people are spending this kind of money, they want to know who is behind it and is somebody going to take care of me? You know, you mentioned, told about the history of AGM. Uh, you know, all y'all there have been doing this a long time. And anytime a new company starts up, my biggest concern is, is the product going to be reliable? And is there going to be customer service to back it up? Because anybody can say, oh, you got a three-year warranty. Good luck trying to get a hold of us. You know, good luck of us fixing it. And y'all have proven yourself uh, over the last couple of years of very, very good customer service, taking care of the end user. And to be honest, your products are just really, really reliable. 
and and moving on with my original thought about these rattlers, you've done the same thing now that you've moved into this 640 line. I mean, Hans and I have reviewed these optics on the late night vision show. We made a big deal about it. You released a 640 by 512 high resolution thermal scope. Again, all the same features I just mentioned, the ADM mount, everything on it. And you did it for $39.99. It was the first 640 thermal we ever reviewed on the show. And to date, the only <laughs> under $4,000. I mean, that's, mm. and, and it's a legit 640 scope. So, I mean, anyway, I just, I think people need to understand that, that y'all aren't just throwing out some, some junk and hoping something sells. I mean, you're bringing legit affordable options to the market. Absolutely. No. And, and on that point, I mean, you know, it's, we've all been in this industry. We all, you know, focus on, you know, serving the customer. I mean, it's, it's a lot easier to do when you've got a product you can stand behind and something that I'll continue to reiterate and, and focus not only amongst myself, but amongst the dealers out there, amongst our customer service team, you know, we're there to help. I mean, ultimately, you know, it's y'all's tagline, but taking the confusion out of thermal and eye vision, there's, there's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of misleading, you know, information out there. And, and at the end of the day, I'm not going to stand behind something. Our company's not going to stand behind something that we don't believe in and we don't warrant and we don't try to help the consumer have something that will ultimately serve a need or a problem, you know, which in, in the most cases, is predator hunting, you know, and, and, and we're there to help support that. So we talked about the great stuff from 2021, but why, why everybody is here, why everybody's listening. <laughs> uh, this is the first day of shop. So the video is released. What do we have? I've been so, telling so many people, you know, Hey, if you, if you can wait a couple of weeks, wait a couple of weeks, cause there's some new stuff coming out. Uh, and I hate doing that as a salesperson. That's not what you want to do. Uh, but we got to, there's so many good things coming out. Trent. Give us a recap. Tell us what's being uh, announced here at SHOT Show. What's the new stuff? I know a couple of things might be out already, but a lot of people don't know what they are. So uh, share with us a little bit about the new stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So kind of on that note, we did have a couple products, and I'll start with another handheld. Um, it's going to be our Fusion. Um, trying to figure out the best way to show this. We offer this in six different models, three with this LRF here on the side, three without. Um, so in those three configurations, we've got two 35 millimeter, or I'm sorry, two 384 um, resolution and one 640. Um, essentially, it's going to be a handheld thermal monocular, um, also has digital night vision. So you do have the ability to fuse both of those technologies together, um, but all are going to be at 12 micron, all are going to be um, slim, lightweight. Um, these are not going to be replacing our Taipans because the Taipan is kind of our core foundation on thermal monoculars. But the benefit of the Fusion is it's going to have a removable um, 18650 battery. Um, so remo removable, rechargeable 18650. I know that has been a little bit of a concern with some of the Taipan series that we have is, you know, that internalized um battery. So we do have another option for those out there looking for something cheap, looking for something that they can, I'm sorry, batteries that are cheap. Um, yeah. You know, we, <laughs> yeah. We've got Good these, save. but Good the save. units themselves, you know, I'm not <laughs> going to say cheap, but um, bang for the buck and what you're getting, yeah. you know, again, I mentioned six models. You've got the low end um, being a non LRF 25 millimeter low end of price, not low end of quality. I, I know. <laughs> I, know. Made, I need to, I need to your start reading fix. my notes, not going off script, but <laughs> yes, our, our lower end um, price starting at $2,100 um, all the way up to our 35 millimeter 640 LRF version. That's going to be retailing for 2,700. So we're, right, we're looking on. at a very, Stop right there. Say that again for the people who were not listening. They were distracted. Tell them about what this price is on your 640 with a laser range finder. Say it again. 640 laser range finder, 12 micron, internalized recording, digital night vision option, as well as thermal, um, removable, rechargeable 18650 battery. You're looking at 2700. Gosh. There you go. I just wanted to hear it again. Uh, and I can tell you this. Uh, Hans and I have got these units in our hand and uh, the image quality is legit. I you mean, wanna, yeah, for, you want to know why those are going to sell like crazy? It's because that 18650. Yeah. I mean, well, that is the, the picture image and, and the laser range. You know, 
there has not been a lot of options with handhelds with laser range finders on them. This does a lot for that void, but the 18650 battery is huge. It is huge. Mm-hmm. People are, are that I predict that to be a very, very hot item for this year for sure. So, so guys, there's a lot of those fusions. Like he said, he just Trent was going over those just kind of briefly. We're going to get into those uh, in the coming months in 2022 here uh, on the show. We'll try to get those, bring them on, explain the differences in them, and, and really kind of show you more of what they'll be able to do. Uh, Hans and I have been testing these things, very impressed with image quality and the function from what we've seen. So we're very excited about them. These units are actually available now. So this is something that, you know, he was saying some of these things just came out here at the tail, tail end of 2021, around Christmas time. Uh, so these units are here. You know, if you have an interest in them, definitely they are in dealers' hands at this point. But uh, tell us something else. You got something else that, that just came out recently as well. Yes, sir. And sticking along with the 18650, um, we do have a new line of rifle scopes as well in our thermal rifle scopes um, called the Varmint. Um, again, offering an LRF built-in feature. Um, we've got, if I'm not mistaken, four different models of the Varmints, mm-hmm. um, two in the 384 configuration, again, 12 micron, two in the 640, 12 micron. So we've got four different lineups. Um, they are all going to have the removable rechargeable 18650 battery here at the top. Um, there you go. Hans is showing one off as well. Yeah, well you can talk the American you want to be now. Yeah. Um, and we're looking at price point on those um, starting at 3300 for the 35 millimeter 384 and going up to a 5000 for the 640 50 millimeter. Um, the one benefit, and I'll be quick on this, but, you know, we've we've had very, very good success with our Rattler series of rifle scopes. They are going to be a smaller base magnification because they are coming as a 17 micron. So with the 35 and 50 millimeter varmints, we are looking at a 3X and 4X base magnification. Hey, I just want to say one quick thing, Trent, and I, I hate to, to write here on the show, but I think that 640 unit is 5495, 5500. Unless I have my price wrong. Do I have my price wrong? <laughs> I think it's possible. My, my notes say $49.95. Let me double okay. check my, my price. I'm showing the Varmint, the, the TS-35 is $49.95. But hey, no big deal. I got $44.95 there. Yeah. Okay, so so no big deal. Prices are getting cheaper. See that right here? We just dropped ten percent price. Right here, special on, on the, the on the late night vision show, five hundred dollars off. Uh, yeah, exactly right. I, I've got on my notes here forty nine ninety five for the for the fifty, but um, okay, Trent well, might be calling well, us and be like, "Hey, you got to edit out a huge part of the show." <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be sure because. Uh, uh, my, my notes are wrong, but that's okay. My notes stay wrong. So no big deal. So I, again, you did it again though with this unit, an 18650 rechargeable battery. That is a huge deal. You know, we were talking to Envision recently on the show, you know, as everybody knows, they've got the super high, high end thermal optics um, in, you know, that $7,500 to $9,500 price range. And they've gone to 18650 batteries. And we, we thanked them. I'm going to thank you. Thank you all for doing this because it's a really big deal to the end user. Now they can go and, and just grab a $5, $10, $15 dollar battery off the shelf, you know, have multiples, charge them up, keeping them in their inner pocket. And, you know, uh, Envision's comment was, we're not in the battery business. We're in the thermal scope business. And so, it's a really big deal to a lot of people. So I'm glad to see two new units taking those batteries. Absolutely. And the, and the customers have spoke. I mean, you know, let's let's get something. Let's get something readily available, um, easy to find, not too expensive um, so that you can stock up on a handful of them, recharge them, you know, keep them charged, keep a couple extra in your pocket um, and keep out in the field, you know, um, I am re-reviewing my price list. I don't know how we want to edit this in, but uh, Jason, you are correct. There's a reason um, you're in sales and I'm the manufacturer. <laughs> um, I typed up the notes and, and typed them incorrectly. We're at fifty-four ninety-five for the fifty millimeter six forty. So okay. I apologize for the the issues there, but uh, no, no, no big deal. Well, I was going to have to go edit the Outdoor Legacy website, but 
Because you, uh, you were looking where I, I, I was, and it was trying to hold our breath and see who was well, right. I was yeah, looking at Trent's exactly. Nose, so Trent, yeah, yeah, that's I know. Hey, you know I what? Know. You know there what? there goes my shot on getting the re-invite onto the show. See? That's right. See? It's we'll, we'll we'll have to take a vote. You're probably going to get blackballed. But <laughs> no, you know what this is though. You got so many new optics. You got so much stuff coming. Uh, it's all brand new to the market. Uh, again, that's that's it's sometimes it takes a little while for everybody to catch up, but. Tell us this. So we've talked about the fusions. We've talked about the varmints. You know, those just hit, you know, here last few days of, of 2021, as I mentioned. What do you got for SHOT Show 2022 that our listeners don't know about, that haven't heard about? Is there something new that y'all are going to, you know, come out with a bang here this week in Vegas? Yes, sir. Um, so really kind of leading the charge um, is a new lineup of rifle scopes kind of staying in theme with some of the snake names. Um, it's going to be called the Adder, A-D-D-E-R. Um, as opposed to our traditional, you know, more kind of compact brick style rifle scope, it is going to be more along the line of a 30 millimeter tube. Um, I know a lot of other predecessors and other companies have done very well in, in kind of, you know, focusing on the thermions, the bolts of, of the market. And, and this is going to follow suit with that. Um, so in our adder series, we've got, again, four different configurations, um, two in uh, 384. Um, both are going to be 12 micron and both are going to... Um, I'm sorry, the two and the 640 are also a 35 and a 50 millimeter. Um, all four are 12 micron. All four will come with an American Defense uh, 30 millimeter quick detach um, mount. And all four will have two 18650 internalized batteries and one removable CR123A, giving you about 15 hours um, runtime on a full charge and full setup battery. These are going to be including um, audio recording in addition to video recording, yes. and they're going to be priced very competitive with our existing Rattler series. So you, for the same price, can pick, do you want a more brick, compact style design of thermal op optic, or do you want your more slender, you know, day looking optic version? Um, so we've got those ranging from $3,300. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the varmint pricing. $2,500. Um, to forty five hundred dollars. We trust you on those prices. <laughs> I'm just giving I'm, you a hard time. I'm, I've got heartburn right now as I'm rereading those. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. But, but yes, those those pricing are correct. Um, okay, as good, I mentioned, good. same price as the Rattlers. We do not have a twenty five millimeter three eighty four version of the Adder. Therefore, mm -hmm. our starting model is going to be the thirty five millimeter. Um, 384, it's going to be $2,500, same as the 35 TS 35 Rattler, um, right. that you guys are currently selling. I love that. So, I love the fact yeah, that y'all have gone head deep into uh, the ADM, the guys, the fine folks over at ADM, and you're including those with all your scopes, even you know the 30 millimeter uh ring set that they sell too, that is just fantastic. So Man, um, best mounts in the world we use and we love them. And I'm glad that's a huge value. That's a, another big selling point of why people um, ask about your stuff because it comes with the good quality mounts. It's not, people don't uh, necessarily like having to buy a bunch of accessories with it. They want it right there in the box ready to go whenever they get it. So uh, good job on that too. No, absolutely. And just kind of back to bang for your buck and value. And, you know, mm -hmm. sorry to take the, the, the upsell of the, of the mounts out of y'all's hands, but you know, 80, 80 <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. We don't ADM's make much money making, <laughs> making mounts for your $9,000 optics. And mm -hmm. we yep. don't want just because we're trying to kind of, you know, creep in to the, to the lower end of, of some of what that price point is, we're not going to do that as a barrier to entry that you're just getting cheap throwaway rings included right. with, with mm -hmm. the scope. Right. So do you have anything else shot show that y'all are going to be talking about? I mean, maybe not breaking news, new products, whatever, but do you have anything else that would interest the listeners out there that y'all may be announcing or doing or, you know, we do. Um, so we've we've launched um, in 2021 um, a lineup of, of uh, both handhelds and weapons mounted units um, and our 256 by 192 resolutions. Um, we're having a significant price drop um, on these devices. Um, so, again, trying to kind of bridge 
that gap for the individual, maybe that's not hunting all the time, maybe doesn't need to get past that 75 to 125 yard, you know, range. Um, and the 256 resolution obviously is a lower um, resolution than the 384s, but, you know, we do offer that in two different versions of our handheld. Um, both of those retails are dropping $250. So you're going from $799 on a TM10 256 to $549. Um, that's a 1X base mag um, for the TM15-256 monocular. Um, we're dropping that from $999 to $749. Um, we're doing the same thing in both of our rifle scopes. We've got a TS19-256 that's dropping $1,295 down to $995, so roughly $300 price drop. Um, you're also going to be doing the same thing in our um, TS25-256 dropping from $15.95 down to $11.95. So about a $400 price nice. drop. And again, the main thing there, you know, we, we just felt for that particular unit, um, the pricing really needed to justify what it was. Um, you know, it's not going to be your, you know, staple thermal for all of your users, but, you know, for a, for something less expensive to get your hand in the field for either a, a buddy scope or a handheld or something to keep and throw in a backpack, um, you know, we felt those price points really needed to come down to justify and open that up um, to the market. So what we're hoping to do with that is really continue to grow this market. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, growth we've seen over the last five years, um, the last 10 years, you know, but I, I think there's a lot of guys bow hunting, camping, um, you know, deer hunting that have use for thermal, um, not just predator hunting, you know, stock and, um, stock and yeah. hunt, you know, all that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to see more and more of that of, of where thermal becomes a, I hate to use the word household item, but in some ways, I think it is for outdoors, like you said, mm -hmm. not even necessarily hunters, but, but campers, boaters, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe it's hunters that are like, you know, you've kind of mentioned, and we've talked about on the show, deer hunters that are buying this stuff and, you know, to get in and out of the stand or see what's out there before daylight, you know, with a handheld, that sort of thing. So anyway, very glad to always uh, see new stuff and new pricing. Uh, so let's kind of recap here. We've got the, the Rattler series and the Taipans that, again, are the, the staples, uh, you know, kind of the bedrock of, of what y'all have done. They're sticking around. Everything's going to be good with them. But then we're also now you've got the, the fusions uh, that are going to be, uh, as you mentioned there, a lot of them, you know, half those units have laser range finders in them. Very affordable 18650 batteries. We've got the Varmint series, which are going to be your new rifle scopes. Again, 18650s and again, laser range finders. Uh, and then the adders. Those are going to be very interesting. Cannot wait to get our hands on those. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, as Trent mentioned, 30 millimeter tube coming with an American defense mount. Uh, that's that's exciting. And, and, you know, rechargeable batteries and a removable battery as well. So that's really, really exciting news. And Trent, we appreciate you coming on the show. No, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And just to kind of highlight your recap as well, you know, all of these um, minus the, the adders are a, a launch for SHOT Show. The adders will be available end of February, beginning of March 2022. Um, everything else we discussed here, the Taipans, the Rattlers, the Fusions, the Varmints, um, the price reduction on the, the 256s, those are all live at the airing of this show. So um, in stock, ready to ship um, with adders soon to follow, roughly in about a month to uh, two months out. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show, folks. If y'all want to know more about AGM, uh, you can always go check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they've got some good social media content that they're constantly putting up. So go give them a like or a follow there. As always, you can stick to the late night vision show. Uh, we're going to be bringing you all the reviews of all these new products. Uh, bear with us folks. Cause they got a lot of stuff and it's going to take us a while to get through all these. There's yeah. so much new stuff coming, but, uh, that's exciting. It's, it's job security here at the late night vision show for Hans and I. So we're glad to do it. And if you are interested in any of these optics, you can always, uh, hit Hans or I up at outdoor legacy, uh, 877-350-1818. Thank you again, Trent. And uh, we hope that y'all have enjoyed this show. You hope that you learned something. 
And again, like Trent said, uh, we'll, we're, I think we'll get him back on the show. I mean, Hans and I are going to take a vote when this is over, but He's yeah, hard. cross your fingers, yeah. cross your fingers, but we'll, we'll definitely see. But, but thanks for checking out the show today, folks. Yeah, I, and I do expect that we see Trent again uh, very soon. Hopefully, maybe breaking some news sometime this year. You never know. You never know what's going to happen, but <laughs> we'll, I'm sure we'll have him back at some point. So thank you, Trent, again. Hey, this has been another episode of Late Night Vision Show, a special interview episode. Stay tuned. All the stuff from the SHOT Show. There's a lot of videos that were released today. This is one of them. And we'll be having more information. Check out all the social medias, too, because we'll be posting stuff from the show. I hope if Jason, <laughs> if Jason, you'll let, let me film him in the booth uh, with his mask on. I don't know. He yeah, negative ghost rider. Exactly. So <laughs> y'all stay safe in the fields. We'll see y'all soon. Keep making the bacon pancakes.